Welcome back, it's Raktar, and I'm going to be playing some more Kingdom Hearts, and I am in Atlantica, home of Ariel from that one movie, The Little Mermaid. Anyways, I'm headed to the Undersea Valley because the Heartless have, as you may have guessed, infiltrated this area as well as all the other areas. And now we finally get to deal with cool swimming mechanics. Whenever I play this area, I kind of think it'd be neat if, um, aside from the swimming mechanics, they also had, like, flight mechanics in this game. Like, I just think it'd be, like, super cool to, um... I should probably be attacking enemies and not focusing on this... Damn, there we go. I was, for some reason, I could not not focus on that shell. Deep freeze! Aw, oh, yeah. Wait. Fuck. Dude, the problem with not killing these guys close by is that they drop their magic all over the place. Now I can finally find out what's in this... Red shell! Red shell, what do you contain? Oh, I'm accidentally using magic. Oh, damn it, open it. Oh. Oh, you know what? I should probably cast... Because it's red, I bet this is totally... Yeah, there we go. And what is inside? Mithril, Mithril Shard! But yeah, there's tons of treasure, but like I was saying, so I think this would be super neat if in this game they had sort of a mechanic where in some areas... Now, okay, I'm gonna reveal there is an area in the future in the game where you can actually totally fly, but it's like, it's not as cool as you would think because it's very limited. It's for a very limited amount of time and it doesn't do a lot. Oh, alright. Maybe, why can I not open this one? Maybe this is... This one does not... Okay, whatever. Let's... Where are those enemies at? Let's defeat them, and then we'll worry about opening that box. Enemies, where are you? Jeez. Fire probably actually doesn't work very well against these guys. Like, now that I think about it, the game is probably face-palming right now and being like, why ever would you use fire? Alright, let's examine this now. And see if the game will give me a sweet, sweet hint as to how I should open this. That's what I was! I was hitting it! What the fuck? Whatever. Oh, and now... Oh, like, maybe it's before the reason it wasn't working is because I was in combat. And just because, like, I know that... When you're fighting stuff... Oh, man, there's enemies everywhere in here. They're trying to stop me from getting the sweet, sweet treasures. But luckily, they're no match for Blizzard. Dude, I feel like Blizzard should also not be very powerful against the enemies here. But just because... Actually, no! Blizzard should, like, rock the world of enemies in a place like this because, uh... Like, if you think about it... It freezes things. And if you were, like, a fish, getting frozen would, like, kick your ass. You would, like, die instantly. Just like how humans would totally die pretty quick if they were, like, frozen to death. So, I'm gonna... Uh, deviate from my original theory that these guys would not get their asses kicked by Blizzard and say maybe they would get their asses kicked by Blizzard. Although they are thunder enemies, so... Because clearly they cast thunder, which is pretty surprising considering they're down... Here, where's that last enemy at? The game is like claiming that there's one more enemy down here, and I don't believe it. And now that I'm going after this box, there'll probably be an enemy. What do we got? Elixir. Dude, all these boxes are full of fantastic items. You know what's interesting is I was noticing... I was noticing recently... I was busy noticing that I have not been... What am, What was I busy noticing? Oh, I've not been using, like, any items in this game. And admittedly, I've been having some trouble on some of the boss fights, but I actually felt a little bit of pride in the fact that I've not been using a lot of items in this game, like... I thought I would be maybe relying on items all the time, but as it turns out, I think I'm pretty okay without them. Alright, cool. No more of you dudes, I just want to get what's in this sweet, sweet sheet seashell. That's actually also another nice thing, is that... So once you lock onto something, you automatically swim towards it. Which makes it cool, so like when you're getting the seashells and shit, it's not really annoying trying to, like, point yourself in the right direction. You can just lock on and the game will swim right at it for you. And what was the point? Seriously, what was the point of this tunnel? It didn't even... Oh, no fire. 
deep freeze. Yeah. I was like, why would I fire those guys? That's not even a reasonable move to use. Oh shit. Sometimes when I just want to attack enemies like normal, I do a really funny thing. And that is I hold down my magic button since I'm so used to holding it down like while I attack. I'll just hold it down and then I'll hit X, meaning to just do a normal attack because for some reason my brain is triggering that like a normal attack is a spell, which obviously is not true. But I don't know, it's just like how it triggers... What a what a dirty lie! They said this is the calm... Oh, I want to go that way. No. Ah! Oh no. What do I do now? I missed the... I missed the path that I'm supposed to take. And that just brought me to Undersea Valley. And who knows what's in Undersea Valley. Oh, is that where I just was? Maybe? Is that a possibility? Oh no, this is like a... Yeah, this is totally where I just was. Oh man. So I guess the moral of the story is don't miss that shit, because if you do, the game backtracks you. Alright, this time, the calm depths, you're not going to trick me with your wily ways. Yeah! There we go. Like I said, though, that was totally a lie. Those depths weren't calm at all. And look who's back. These assholes. They couldn't get their teleporting ass bitches away from getting their ass kicked. Oh, crap. All right, don't be a dumbass like me. For some reason, I thought that that was just like a decoration. I didn't realize that it was actually going to like push me back into the undersea valley. So don't be a dumbass. In fact, let's just cast some magic at this guy so he doesn't he doesn't pull that shit again. Yeah, that's right. You guys don't get to pull your shitty games on me and trick me into getting pushed backwards because you're losing the fight. Yeah, alright. And it looks like maybe we're almost to Atlantica. We're at the Undersea Cove, which is, oh my gosh, filled with alien life forms. Oh my, look at that. See, I love my new, uh, the new blizzard because it, po it shoots out like a huge cone of blizzards, which is really amazing for kicking the ass of like... 20 billion dudes like that. Give me your sweet, sweet treasures, box of loot. If I can point at the right angle. There we go. Get a cottage. I don't even understand the name cottage of, like, an item. It just seems really weird to me. Oh, uh, what is happening here? Alright, there we go. Undersea cavern. So much undersea places. And not... Oh, what is over this way? Oh, damn it. That's where I just came from. I was tricked by myself, dude. I keep on... I'd say I'm being tricked by myself on a pretty fairly regular basis right now. Which, I would admit, is pretty bad. Ah, Deep freezes for everybody. Everyone is gonna get their ass kicked. Oh, shit, dude. Look, there's like 20... There's like 20 dudes down here. But they don't know is that I have deep freeze. I can just blizzard the shit out of them. Seriously, blizzard is so very useful against these guys. They really- oh, shit. Come on, hit it. Hit it. There we go. They really don't- oh. It's gonna be a bitch. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's- it's blue. I couldn't tell because the blue almost looks the same as the- as the, like, neutral colored one, because the neutral colored one doesn't really have any color at all, so I think it was a fair assumption by me that I was going to be able to open that that way. Oh my gosh, there's so much exploration to do. It's like the real ocean. There's all these crazy places that you just don't know you can get to. Alright, I'm going to try and hit as many of these guys in my beam of hatred as possible. Beam of hatred! That's the real name of that move. Oh, sweet, sweet magic abilities. Holy shit, see, these guys drop tons of magic. That really is. Just be, just by, like, the virtue of the fact that they drop a shit ton of magic, that is, like, the best way to fight these guys. Ah, uh, Shit. Fire, the problem with fire is I sometimes accidentally, like, will use it, like, rapid fire without meaning to, and just waste a bunch of ammunition. All right. All right, you are definitely not a blizzard one. Please... Let me open you, get your sweet, sweet shell treasure. Yeah, shell treasure! Shell treasure. There we go, mega ether. Seriously, there are some fantastic items down here. And this is clearly an area where I'm not yet intended to go. Ah, oh, deep freeze everyone! 
Oh, this guy avoided it like a champ. He thinks he's so hot, but he will relinquish his sweet, sweet magic-y innards to me. Yeah, this is definitely the next area I'm supposed to go to after I go to... Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, I can go here, but I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet. I'm supposed to be following the tridents. Yeah. Can I steal stuff from Ariel? Ariel, do you have any items that I can plunder from you? Can I pillage? Oh, I totally can. I'm so sorry, Ariel. I know that you've been spending a great good deal of time making this amazing collection of items, but... I'm sorry, but I've got to plunder some of them. Can I- is that a plunderable chest? It's really hard to tell which chests are plunderable and which ones are not. There we go. Plunderable as fuck. Ooh, torn page! You know what that means? Oh, is there? Oh, you can't get out here. It's just like a skylight to nothing. Alright, cool. Dude, torn page means, guess what? There's going to be some more Winnie the Pooh story coming up in future episodes. I actually really enjoy doing the Winnie po the Pooh storylines. Even though, obviously, I sucked at that minigame that I did the other day. I totally thought I was going to rock and roll that shit. Like, this is a child's minigame, and I'm going to rock it. And then I... Ooh, where does this go? The Undersea Garden? Um... I'm sure the game will send me there eventually. No, let's go. I have to explore everything. I'm afraid that, like... Oh, yeah, this has an item. But I do think, now that I'm actually, like, seeing this place, I'm almost certain that there's actually, like, a part of the story that takes place here, so... Yeah, there was no reason for me to come here. I guess unless I really felt like I needed that Mega Ether, I did not need to pop my ugly head into this area. But now, time to keep on heading towards Triton's Palace, which is where I was supposed to be heading this whole time. And I've kind of been taking my... Oh, whoa! Holy shit, I forgot these guys look awesome. Seriously, I'd say of any enemy so far, these guys have like the coolest character designs. Holy shit. Uh, why do you have to have such a cool character design, jerk? I mean, the answer is obvious. You have to have a cool character design because you're a badass. Ah! Oh, seriously? I thought all those deep freezes would surely destroy that asshole. But apparently they didn't. Ah! Fuck yeah! Anybody else want to mess? I can actually, I was about to say, I can hear one of these guys making their stupid annoying sounds. Oh, look at that. That shell clearly needs a thunder spell. But I don't have one equipped, but we can do it the old-fashioned way, right? Alright. Hitting it. How about magic? Alright. Um, is just any magic, maybe? Maybe... The game is telling me I can use... Nope. Alright. I do. Okay, I was like, do I even have thunder? Alright. So now we'll go magic, thunder. Yay! Dude, maybe I should turn on some other magic. Like, maybe I should try spells other than the ones I've been using. Because I just realized, like, I kind of have just been using the same spells over and over again. Which realistically is pretty lame to just, like, use... Blizzard and whatever all the time and fire, but they're just so useful and they seem to do so much damage But who's to say thunder won't deal like a million damage, so I don't know maybe when I go to other places in fact Thunder seems like it'd be pretty strong since I'm like underwater and But technically then it seems like it would kill me because Wait, why are we running from the heartless? We're not afraid of them. Look, it's only three. I just I just killed that three. Was too close. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel! When will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas! His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Well, it's a... There's no such thing. Certainly not here. But 
Daddy! Ariel, not another word! You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Grotto. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. A sea exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Dude, I actually remember Ursula being, like, a major bitch and a half in this game. If I'm not mistaken, and I might be- Oh, no! Oh, I, I can't do White Trinities anyway, so that's fine. I seriously- I remember when I played through this game the first time, Ursula's boss fight is, like, no joke in this game. She will wreck you and throw you about, like, yesterday's tomatoes. Come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? Dude, I already... Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Dolph! Dolph? Oh, dude, that Dolph is pissed! Dude, did you see the angry-ass look on Dolph's face? He was not happy to be a Dolph. Like, seriously, he was so pissed. It's like, Dolph, I'm sorry you have to be a Dolph, but can't you just be happy about it? I mean, being a Dolph is pretty cool. I was super excited because I didn't I didn't see the dolphin before and then this time it's just swimming around but it's got like the most pissed off fucking look in the world on its face. I'm sorry being a dolphin isn't good enough for you dolphin. Maybe in the future you can just be happier with what you are. Be happy with what you're born as. I mean, you can't control whether you're a dolphin or not dolphin. You're born that way, so you might as well Lady Gaga that shit and just be happy about it. Alright, well, that angry dolphin is gone. I can't seem to find him again. Angry dolphin? Whatever. So we already know that Ariel's grotto is right here, and she's got to show us... She has to sing a song. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? Wouldn't you say I'm the girl? The girl who has... Everything... Okay, I'm sorry. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from an outside world. Damn, girl. Someday I'm gonna out and see what's out there. I wanna see other worlds. Does that sound strange? You know what? I used to feel the same way, and now... Other worlds are just kicking my ass and full of bosses and heartless. They're not as cool as you think they are. Oh, and Sebastian is... Oh, that fucker. He's spying on us. Alright, I would search around for items, but I already searched around the grotto for items, so I don't need to. Fucking, where did Sebastian go? I saw him out there spying his bitch tits out on me. Alright. There's this really big fish who can swim against the current, but he's scared of those weird things swimming around, so if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play. Maybe if we grab onto him... <gasps> That's maybe what the dolphin is! Is it? Uh oh What's gonna happen? Dude, he was totally talking about the dolphin. Ha! Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl couldn't prove useful, and I've got a heartless on my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> Something gives me the feeling that they're not actually friends, as her statement would allow you to- There it is! Dolphin! Dolphin, are you still angry? Oh, yes! 
Dolphin is gonna pull us up the current and probably take us to Ursula's lair. All right. Holy shit, this is really awkwardly animated. Can I swing the camera around? Oh, nope, I cannot swing the camera around. All right. Okay, so I don't... The dolphin was just taking me around in circles. I'm really confused. Maybe I need to find a different dolphin that'll actually take me to where I want to go. There we go. My theory was correct. Back here in, like, the gigantic area after the calm depths, there's totally another dolphin, and an, I bet this one is just going to go around in circles. Great. No way. This dolphin is totally going to take us... Oh, there we go. Yep. Now this dolphin will totally take us where we want to go. Probably... Yep. Oh. Alright. Thanks, dolphin. To the sunken ship. We haven't been to the sunken ship yet. Alright. Sunken ship. Do your worst. Now the dolphin took us here. Dolphin, where'd you go? I bet dolphin got killed by... Somebody, right? That's why he's not here. It's because he got murdered. Alright, murder it is, but more importantly, can I get into the sunken ship and like loot it, or is it just here for no reason? Oh, there we go. Oh shit, that causes an event with, uh-oh, something bad is going to happen here. Well, we get a chest at least, but I bet once we go out, oh, there it is. Ah, shark, g -g 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 ghost Dude, that shark's a beast. I bet we totally gonna have to fight it. Well, I still want... Whether or not that shark... Whoa. This shape reminds... I know what this shape is. I absolutely know what this shape is. Alright, let's see if there's another box. Like, Yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah, no, so remember in the... Outside of the ship, in the one place that I was in before, Ariel's Grotto, there's totally like a place with a trident shaped thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wonder we can totally kill this guy. In fact, check this out. We're just gonna like magic him to death. We're gonna deep freeze him until he's got nothing left. In fact, okay, maybe that's not a good idea. He'll Oh no! Oh there we go. Shark's back. I actually for some reason so for a second there I thought that if the shark kills you that it spawns you but the shark is not alive anymore. But then I came back and and at first, Shark wasn't there, but now it's back, so... I mean, that wouldn't make any sense if you died to it, and it just was like, the game was like, now you don't have to beat him now that you died to him. Ah, uh, heal! There we go. Alright, let's try to use him with, like, some... beat him with, like, traditional tactics. Instead of trying to be all stupid, because being all stupid is obviously not working out very well for me against this guy. Ah! Uh, there we go. Dude, see, he's just like a real shark. He can't turn quickly, and that is his downfall. And now he's not murdered, but he's definitely knocked out. Oh, what? Oh, I thought he was gonna come back and start fighting again. That would've bothered the shit out of me. Alright, cool. So, Shark's dead. Well, Shark is not dead, but... More importantly, what is down here? Is there- Yes! Secret Chesty Westy filled with elixir. That's the goodness right there, if I ever did see it. Alright, so I don't think there's any more doors around here, which means I should probably... Ooh, box just randomly ass floating in the water with a high potion in it. All right, yeah, uh, I don't want to miss anything. All right, cool. Let's just head back, I guess, through the calm depths to take us back to Ariel's Grotto. All right, save time. I cut back to Ariel's Grotto, so there's no extra waiting around, and hopefully I was correct in my assumption that this crystal trident will fit into this. Yep, here's the slot. And oh, it triggers automatically. Now we'll unlock the door to our dreams, and we'll never have to worry about the Heartless again. I, I highly doubt that. Ariel, you disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? 
You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. Ursula can help. You called, my dear? You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. Alright, well, it looks like Trouble's afoot now that Ursula has found her way to the shit. And I'm actually, though, going to go grab a save point really quick, if I can remember where one is. I feel like there's, like, no save points in this place. But yeah, I'm gonna run to a save point. I'm going to end this episode of Kingdom Hearts right here. In the next episode, we're gonna have to probably go kick Ursula's ass. Because like all the bitches in this game, like all the evil peoples, I am sure she's tricking that kid somehow into doing some evil shit, all in the name of whatever. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching. Dude, I swear, I haven't seen, like, any other save points in this whole place other than at the Tranquil Grotto.